Hello, hello, good uh, afternoon, almost. How are you guys doing? I hope you guys are doing well, you know. We are at the Tojo Falls, and this is where we left off last time, you know. Uh, we are on the way of the... Um, what's it called? The last fucking road, Victory Road, there we go. Victory Roads don't exist anymore in the newer games, it's interesting. Uh, but this is the team we have, you know. We got the Blastoise. We got the Taurus. Pretty strong team, eh? It's not even close enough. Look at this, we have a Zapdos too. What? That's right. We got Tyranitar. What? Yep. We have a Dugong. <laughs> and then a Moltres. That's about it, you know. That's a pretty strong team, I must say. Tyranitar, two legendary birds, a Blastoise and a Taurus, and then, you know, Dugong. <laughs> Uh, I don't think we ever had an encounter in Tojo Falls. S or maybe we did actually. Because I think we went this way last time. To grab the item. Yeah, so already we got the encounter. Yes, I remember now. Now we have Waterfall. So it's time to go up. Wow, I forgot about the animation. I'm not gonna lie. We And there we go, that's Falls of Tals. Falls. Oh, that's a trainer. Okay. <laughs> it's rare to see anyone come here. Are you trading on your own? Damn. Bam on on it. Bam. Ooh. Seeking. Missing this Pokemon to be honest. Oh, what do I have Blaster Elite for? I guess it's the one I'm training at the moment. Okay, let's go faster though for this, right? We just had to go into Zabdos. Horn attack. That's funny. We still have Thundershock, man. Can this Pokemon learn better moves? Why are we level 35 ready to go on the Elite for, man? <laughs> That's Gen 2 moment. Okay. How have you guys been, huh? Any news? Thank you for the nice reception of the Helldiver series. I love that game. I played non-stop, baby. Okay, this is scary. Though. We go back to Blastoise, we have super effective hits, we shouldn't take too much damage from a Rock Tap, if he even has one, but uh, they normally don't, but yeah. I don't feel like risking anything, you know, and now Blastoise is gonna reach level 36, which is the War Turtle Evolve level. And there's a Rock Wolf, see? Perfect. Level 36, we might be able to learn a new attack. Do you even get crunched this generation? I think that's a Gen 3 move. It's a level 36. Let's see, let's see. Nope. No new moves. Damn. I thought that would have been the case. Wheezing! Fucking love Wheezing, dude. He looks so awesome. Seth. Oh, I forgot we're confused. Gosh darn. Never mind. My blasters isn't confused. He doesn't give a fuck. I should do some good damage. There we go. Smog. Smog, the Lord of Blood. There's this poison critical hit. Okay. I think I've been confused for too long. Okay, maybe not. Never mind, dude. My god, Blastoise! What a true brother, you're not even the starter! Starter is pretty dead. <laughs> Oof. Yeah. The music on this route is so nice. You can return if you want from here, but I'm just gonna go and explore this. Why are you off to do with Pokemon? Pokemon League? I did not run that correctly. Are your Pokemon loyal enough for you to win? 
Oh. Ooh. Let's see. Low kick. Okay. Interesting. I'm not sure what move it's supposed to be in the original games, but it for sure it is low kick. But it's good to have that move around, honestly. Uh, is this a new route? I think it's the same route, yeah. Okay. Let's do the trainers. No encounters here. <clears throat> you look pretty strong. Let me battle you. This game cannot decide how to, you know, handle the trainer player, right? Because they're saying you look pretty strong because I'm closer to the end of the game, right? Um, so that's why they're doing this, but... <laughs> There's been other people in this fucking game that has told me, Hey, you look like a weakling, right? You look like a weakling! <laughs> Can you decide what I look like? Do I look like a weakling? I guess it depends who's looking with everything. You know, some people would find you disgusting, ugly. An atrocity to human sight. And you may think it. Alas, that is not true for everyone. You know, there's always going to be someone that finds you attractive somehow. Yep, it's true. When you just check out, you know, in the future, you see everyone that has like a boyfriend or a girlfriend at some point. Especially after the 20s, more than the... During the 20s, it's more, you know, more crazy or it's harder for some people to get boyfriends or girlfriends. You'd think it's the easiest moment, but it's not. Then on the 30s, when you're reaching like... Eh, <clears throat> like further away, right, in your 20s, it's much easier, I feel. And there's always everyone that has like a... Couple, you know, even the ugliest cut as a girlfriend. So, anyone, you know, there's always people ready to find you attractive and you know, disposed to give you love. Don't, don't surrender, give a like, <laughs> give a like for the, for the nice comments. You know, I'm here to help you. Why am I so weird, man? It's fine. I don't know what to talk about sometimes, you know, these battles, sometimes they get more intense than others. But, uh, you know, against the regular trainers, it's fine, you know. We get them, we destroy them, we show them why our team is stronger than the average bear. We got pretty lucky with the randomization, so... It's, it's, you know, we got to enjoy a little bit of peace, right? The beginning of the playthrough has been a horrible. And now after we got a pretty much very strong team ready. Um, we're looking fantastic. We're looking fantastic. And this makes me feel, you know, insured. I still try to play well. But with a more calm approach, right? Seems like we got pretty lucky with the randomization later on. Now this is the strongest thing we have though, so keeping the on the PC boxes, we don't have that many strong Pokemons. But still, we will manage, right? We have some things saved that could save us later on, but um I hope that doesn't happen. Let's keep fighting. <laughs> You're good, aren't you? Yeah, maybe these these guys have more of a key knife for stronger trainers since they are pretty strong themselves, so they can know, right? Nidoran male. I love that it says that it's a male next to the level up too, just in case you missed the Nidoran male. <laughs> Thunder shock OP. Not the best move to use there. Dig -dig -dig. Excellent. Ah, oh, almost level 36. That's it. Just as I thought. 
I thought he had something else. Well, keep this ambush for a more battle. Oh, oh, never mind. There's an item down there. Don't say a thing. Let me guess what you're thinking. Hmm. I've got it. You're on the Pokemon League Challenge. God damn, this guy is smart. He must be a psychic. How did he know? <laughs> Gilbert. What is it, Gilbert or Gilbert? I think it's Gilbert, right? What does Gilbert even mean? You know, who the fuck is called Gilbert? If there's anyone watching this in the future or at some point that's called Gilbert, let me know, dude. Can you imagine in like five years someone is like, my name is Gilbert? I would be so confused because I probably won't remember what the hell I'm talking about in this video. <laughs> who, the f <laughs> who the fuck is Gilbert? You gotta put out like a, like a timestamp for me to know what the hell are you talking about in the future. Gilbert man. Gilbert Johnson. Alright buddy. I think I very recently, I think the voice actress for Jigglypuff, uh, Jesse and Misty died, regrettably. That's unfortunate, but these things, you know, happen. But people die every time, but, uh, you know, some people mean more than others. <laughs> and she has been a part of a lot of, um, you know, infancies of a lot of people who watch Pokemon as a kid. I didn't watch Pokemon in English, so it didn't affect me, but these news are always sad, you know. You're too much! Ah, wait, that's the item I wanted to grab. How the hell do I grab it, though? Can I even grab it? I don't know. I guess we can have a look through Surf. Oops. Right? Ah, you need a whirlwind. I don't have whirlwind here, though. Whatever. It's probably not as good. Although it is a randomized item. Could be anything. Oh, that was a... That would have been such a good encounter. Wait, I have it as an like, So I have it as an encounter. Never mind. It would have been a good encounter, which I already have. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> Oops. Shouldn't underestimate the wild Pokemon in this part. True. Getting cocky in Nuzlocke in general is uh, it's fucked up. Nice, a trout. Wow, wow. He do be screeching. Get him out of here. We should eat this, absolutely no problem, even if the move is strong. Yeah. That's my, you know, my, my explosion switching right there. The teddy bear. I'm gonna bury him in rocks until his last breath. <laughs> what is this commentary today? I usually record much later, so this much earlier. It seems like I have more energy. Cyndaquil. Okay. Let's give some screen time to Seal. We need to get her to level 36 as well, like the rest of them. Flame Whale. If you choose Cyndaquil as a starter, that's like a you go for move in this game. For all the game, almost. Because you don't get Flamethrower until Kanto. <laughs> I'll always use uh, for alligator, but uh, I think in Gen 2, Typhlosion is the best one. To be honest. Plus, you don't get that many fire types in this game. Because they are pretty rare. In general. I think 
the only game, like, the more common Pokemons are normally, like, water types, right? Uh, but... In, in, in Scarlet and Violet, actually, Pokemon water types are not as common, which is interesting. Right? Unless you have the starter. Oh shit, that's not what I wanted to hear. It's true. You only have Palafin. Like, if you want to use a... Uh... You have Palafin. I guess you have others, but still, right? It's Route 26, okay. Still have quite a bit to go from the to the Pokemon League, so that's kind of fun. Let's do it. So this episode would be in our way to the Pokemon League, which is sick. Fisher Scott. Fluffy, such a good name. Ah, oh, shit. I don't know if I'm switching to electric no more. I mean, I do have to run it, but I'm running out of um, rock slides. I guess I could use two strengths. It's fine. Almost. It's a shame because rock slide would have killed it. Thank god I didn't get paralyzed anyways. Could have killed it with Sandstorm against the death boost. I should think about these things. Tangela. Never mind, because I have to switch anyways. This is a jump for Moltres. Very nice. Very nice. I have a lot of games to feature on the channel, so I was thinking what to do after this playthrough. Maybe just continuing them, right? Um, and since Tangela has more defense than Spadef, I think Ember might do more damage than Wing Attack. Maybe. Well, here goes a one shot. You know, now brought Hell Divers, I need to prepare for the run to Valden Ring back after the DLC. I need to video the DLC, I was stuck at the last boss still. Uh, but it's been a fun time, you know. What a great game. Helldivers too. It's awesome. I'm gonna put rods every now and then. Need to finish Fire Rumble, need to finish Advance Force, so it's half a lot of games happening at the moment. Nice. No miss, no confusion, nothing. Excellent. Now he goes, with a critical hit too, Jesus Christ. No miss, no confusion, and critical hit without missing. Magnificent Pokemon right here. I love this song. Now this, we have a new encounter here for real. Should we... Do I have Tiwi for Zapdos? I do. Maybe Zapdos is the best option here to get this encounter, right? Oh, a Whipping Bell. Okay. If you leave the pack, I will catch you. How do you not leave a pack? Damn, a grass that actually would be great. Oh well. <laughs> You can tell I was not particularly excited about Whipping Bell. I love, uh... I love Victory Ball, but you do need a fire, uh, a Leaf Stone to do it. I'm pretty sure I don't have any. <laughs> so that was a Whipping Bell. Love it all. Dude, Laboratory is such a badass, right? He's like a cool dude. <laughs> An all around cool dude. And there he goes. GG Richard. Good battle. 
sure. Which of those items around here? Because I think you can come back there by falling and see what's up. But there didn't seem to be much items, anyways. Yeah, same here. Let's see what's in here first. Oh, you have just free recovery? This game's so easy. People's like, oh no, older games are so much more difficult. Not true, man. Now they heal your Pokeballs every two seconds. This is the same. There's just more difficult because you're you're not a child that cannot read Snowball, you know. That's right. The game is more difficult if you don't know how to read or think, as a matter of fact, because you're fucking six years old and don't know nothing, know nothing about games. <laughs> Didn't affect me. Let's fucking go. <laughs> Critical hit! Nice. Ooh. Flareon. What can do with Flareon? God, Flareon looks so cute. Look at that. I love the evolutions, man. I think with the new Pokemon Z, new evolutions will happen. That would be kind of neat. Alright, GG Joyce. What's this? An ice berry? Wow. Thanks. Is there any more trainers here? Yes. Because there is a way down. Okay, let me check it out. Let me check it out first. Doesn't seem too hard to go back out, probably. It's more of a pain than anything else, but if we use a repel, they should be pretty fast. It's just I know there's a place here. Oh, Golbat would have been good, and I love Golbat. Such a good typing. It's not as good in this game that in later on, but still, it's a great mod. In fact, it might give us a good experience, even if it's a a wild Pokemon. So, experience, you know, you have to take the experience where you can get it in this game, man. <laughs> That's how it works. <laughs> that is how it works. Oh. Oh, okay. There's something written here. Yes. To my brothers and sisters, we take pride in serving Pokemon trainers. When trainers talk to you, give them something useful. Love, Monica. Sure, let's keep reading. Monday, Monica, Route 40. Tuesday, Tuscany. What? Route 29. Wednesday, Wesley Lake of Rage. Thursday, Arthur. Oh, Tuscany was a name. <laughs> I thought it was Italy. Route 36. Frida. Route 32. What is this? Are those like specific trainers? Or like people who can help you in your journey? I don't think I need to come back anyways. If there's an item. Whatever, man. We'll be fine without it. We will be fine without it. Man, the encounters here were so cool. Electabuzz is nice. You know? Golbat would be decent. And I got Weeping Bell of all things. I mean, Weeping Bell is not bad. Okay, Weeping Bell is not that bad, but I cannot evolve it, dude. It's not that good. By experiencing tough battles, you gain power. <laughs> Not sure why I'm writing that way. Gaven. Ooh, another Flareon. What are the chances of having two Flareons randomized in the same video? Get drowned. Hmm? My accuracy! Nice. 
Look at this experience. That does not happen in the main game. <laughs> Ooh. We got the Magneton. Okay. That's a little bit scary. Right? I guess we go to Root. Yeah, electric types are the hardest one to deal for my team. I don't have a ground type. So. It didn't affect me though. I got a cross shop here though. I don't have a ground move either. Nice, it's rude! Dude, the man's skooking! Shelda. <laughs> Ladies' favorites, huh? Okay. <laughs> oh shit! Okay, that didn't do shit. That should kill him one hit too. It has good defense, but the spadef. Now that's not good. Down. Very nice. Is there anything on this ward? It's gonna be like an item or something, right? Oh. Wow, well, thanks game. That's great. <laughs> Alright. Not bad at all. One more trainer, or maybe there's a couple of them. I'm making my final preparations for the Pokemon League. Cool trainer Jake. Oh shit. Okay. Wait, I have the correct lead. Are you kidding me? I'm, an, I'm epic. <laughs> Psych! You thought. You really thought, huh? Nice, nice, nice. I forgot to change my lead, it actually worked. And now I can send Moltres, which is about to level up too. Dude, this is perfect. And get the experience as well. We're actually cooking pretty hardcore right now. Let me tell you. Oh no! I love this pixel animation, it's not gonna lie. I really do love them. <laughs> Burn him! Such nostalgic, you know. Nice. That's the level I wanted. I blow it! The guy that blew it was the one with the electro at the beginning of the, of the episode. Just saying, son. Alright. Well, there's items here. And this is the last trader. Okay, this should be the victory road. I lost to a trader named RNG. <laughs> I forgot. <laughs> I named him that. He was about sure he had to win at any cost. I felt sorry for his Pokemon. Maybe before she just sends a fucking low gear. <laughs> nope, that is definitely not a low gear. And why does it look like that? You see this shit? It doesn't look like it has the like the correct green peaks was on his face. That's very strange. <laughs> How do you live? A strength from a Taurus. I know you're level 36, but come on, man. Alright, buddy. Little pursuit. Oh my god, dude. No! Oh, he missed. Awesome. <laughs> Taurus, man. What the hell? I for maybe I need to teach him something better. Pokeball League Reception Gate. Ooh, that's what we will do next episode. Now we grab this epic item. Awakening. Is it better than the Iceberry? I think so. 
Oh, I have a calcium. Can I even use it? Yeah. Hell yeah. Okay. I guess we do some recovery and we finish the episode. You know, thank you very much for watching, my friends. We're almost pretty ready to finish this this game. And I'm excited, you know. I'm probably not gonna do after, you know, what you guys told me. There's no point in doing Kanto. I already have a, a nostril for Kanto, you know, so there's not much point in doing it. So after Johto, we finish this, we keep with the playthroughs that we have, which is just quite a lot. And I hope you regardless enjoy it, right? And uh, that's about it. I hope you guys, you know, have a good day. And uh, love you all very much. See you around. Goodbye.